God's Big Story. This week, God creates everything. Hi there, I'm Princess. Welcome to Black Hot Kids. I am so excited to hang out with you. Are you ready for some fun? I know I am. Let's get warmed up with some singing and dancing to celebrate our amazing God. Let's move and sing to God. for a true story from the Bible. Check out this really big book I'm reading. It's the number one best-selling book of all time. And get this, it's a true story. I just started reading it and I can't put it down. It's definitely an adventure story, a bit of a mystery at times, and a love story all combined. I mean, there are kings, queens, a flood, a whale, some lions, even giants. Do you know what story this is? You guessed it, the Bible. Reading the Bible helps us learn who God is and how much he loves us. All the stories in this book go together to tell us one story, God's big story. Maybe we should start at the end. No, that's silly. How about right in the middle? Nope. We need to start at the beginning in the first book of the Bible called Genesis. The very beginning when God created, 
Drum roll, please. Everything. Watch this. Stories of the Bible. Creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was empty, formless, and dark. But the Spirit of God was there. On the first day, God said, Let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. Then He separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. On the second day, God said, let there be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God called the space sky. On the third day, God said, let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place so dry ground may appear. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land sprout with every sort of plant and tree. And God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God said, let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights, the sun for the day and the moon for the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth and God saw that it was good. On the fifth day, God said, let the water swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind, and God saw that it was good. On the sixth day, God said, let the earth make every sort of animal. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to have babies of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image to be like us. So God created man in his own image. He formed man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into man and a man became alive. Then he saw that the man needed a helper, so God put man into a deep sleep, and while he slept, God took one of the man's ribs, then God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the man. Hello. Hi. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and rule over it. Rule over the fish in the sea. Hello, Will. The birds in the sky. Hello, bird and all the animals that scurry along the ground. <laughs> then God said, Look, I have given you every plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food, and I have given you every green plant as food for all the animals. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was done. So on the seventh day, God rested from all his work, and God blessed the seventh day and said it was holy. Whoa! God made everything. Green grass, puffy clouds, tiny specks of sand, tall mountains, spotted cheetahs, tiny hummingbirds, and jellyfish. Everything! But then God made something that was very good. Do you remember what it was? People! That's right, people are God's most special creation. When God made the first people, Adam and Eve, he said they were very good. God had an amazing plan. He made a beautiful garden for people to live in. God knew just what they needed. He gave them delicious food to eat, things to care for, and he spent time with them because he loved them very much. Everything was very good. Sounds awesome, huh? It was, but this is just the beginning. 
The Bible is God's big story, and it all starts when God made everything. It's time for a Bible wish. We're learning words found in the Bible. These words are very special because they are God's words. Here's our verse, and say it with me if you know it. The word of our God stands forever. Isaiah 40, verse 8. That's right. God's word, or the Bible, is with us forever. Not just today, but forever and ever. Let's say it again, but this time, let's whisper it. Ready? The word of our God stands forever. Isaiah 40 verse 8. Nice job! Keep practicing this verse at home this week. Let's always remember that God's big story found in the Bible will last forever. Let's move and sing to God. Sir. 